Hello, welcome back to another video in our finance math series. On this video, we are going to talk about the present value of an annuity. So before doing an example, I just kind of want to go over what it means to be the present value of an annuity and kind of give you an example of how it works. So right now we have our bank and we have two people who are going to be putting money into that bank. So let's take a look at this guy first here. We'll call him John. Now John, he's going to put away $100 per month. He's going to save $100 per month for, let's say, 20 years. Now if you watched the previous video on the future value of an annuity, we know how much money John's going to have in 20 years. And we had a formula for that. And before figuring out how much money he's going to have, we do need an interest rate. So let's say uh, the bank is offering 3% interest. So $100 per month for 20 years at 3%, and we're going to compound monthly because it's $100 per month. And after the 20 years, John's going to have this much money. It's going to have $32,830.20. So that would be the future value of this annuity right here for John. But we're talking about present value of an annuity. And so here's how present value of an annuity works. So again, you have John who put in $100 per month for 20 years. How about this guy over here? We'll call him Bill. Now Bill has a little bit of a different scenario. Instead of doing a monthly savings, he just wants to come in and drop a lump sum of money. Okay. Now, so no, no monthly payments, nothing like that. He just wants to come in and put one lump sum. And remember that we would call this like the original principle. We'll call that P. So the difference between these two is that he's going to be putting in money every month. He just wants to put money in the first time at the very beginning of the 20 years. So like the first day of the 20 years. And then he just wants the money to sit there. So how much does he have to put in so that after 20 years he will have the same amount of money as John? And that's what we call the present value of an annuity. How much money would you have to put in today? Well, how much money does Bill have to put in today so that he'll have the same amount, the $32,830.20, that John's going to have in the future? Okay, so what formula do we use uh, if we were to put money in, one deposit, and let it sit there for 20 years at 3%? Well, this was the formula up here. Now we're going to have it compounded monthly just at the same amount of time or yeah same time the uh, Johns are being compounded so it will be compounded monthly. Now what is A? A up here that's going to be the 32,000 because that's what we want that's what Bill wants so $32,830.20. Uh, we know the interest rate that was 3% so I'll just write three percent uh, here n is 12 compounded uh, monthly and then t is 20 20 years so the only thing that I need to figure out the thing that I'm trying to solve for is P right here so let me write that down over here so let's move uh, John and Bill to figure out what the present value of an annuity is the first thing is we have our normal annuity over here so John's annuity now we had a formula for that so that was M that was our, our payment we had our interest rate uh, subtract 1 times N over R so this formula here was for the future value of annuity now Bill's gonna come in he wants to drop down one lump sum he wants it to sit there for however many years the same as what John's gonna let it sit there for and I want these to equal each other. So right here, this, this P here is the present value of an annuity. And this entire part here, this is the future value. Okay, don't confuse future value, present value with your monthly payment here. All right, that's different. So we have the present value P, how much money do you have to put in the account today and only once so that you'll have the same amount of money as John who's been putting it away monthly for 20 years. So let's actually solve this problem. 
Now, we don't know what P is. Again, that's what we're trying to solve for. But we, we do know a lot of the other stuff. The interest rate, for example, is 3%, which we'd write as 0.03. Uh, N, which is, I've been using M. Uh, I could use N, because I just want to avoid the confusion between this big M. N still stands for the number of times you compound, which is monthly, so it's 12. Uh, exponent is 12 times 20. Over here, we have our monthly payment, which was 100. Now, this is John's side here. And it's 1 plus, again, 0 0.03 over 12 to the 12 times 20 minus 1. And then we have 12 over 0 0.03. So we know everything except for the present value. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to simplify this side right here. Okay, so plug all of that into your calculator, and you should get the $32,830 that we know John was going to get from his savings. 830 and 20 cents. So now, what's P going to have to be? Well, we're not there yet, but we can simplify this. So plug all that in your calculator. And again, you don't want to round too much, so I'm going to write all of this out. So 1.8207 five four nine nine five okay so I rounded or I uh, wrote out as many decimals as my calculator would allow and then I'm just gonna solve for P so when you solve for P you're gonna divide both sides by this long decimal here so we're gonna get thirty two thousand eight hundred thirty and twenty cents divide that by one point eight two zero seven five four nine nine five we're going to get 18,031 dollars and then we can round with say nine cents. So here is our present value of our annuity. This is how much money you would have to put in today and let it sit there for 20 years so that Bill would have the same amount of money as John who's been putting away monthly for 20 years. In the next video, we'll do an example of a present value problem. Uh, so see you in that video.